Hello everybody, Ed Jackson here. Just recorded my first live CD, and I am so excited to share this music with you and the world. One of the special things about this album is that it was recorded at my jazz spot, The Jackson Room, in St. Albans, Queens, which happens to be in the neighborhood of where I grew up, which is the next town over, called Jamaica, Queens. This particular area of Queens was home to an uncanny number of musicians, including Count Basie, Fats Waller, Illinois Jacquet, Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong, James Brown, Ella Fitzgerald, Lenny White, Marcus Miller, that's just to name a few. In fact, John Coltrane lived on Mexico Street, who's just a few blocks away from the Jackson. The group on this recording consists of a sextet. On flugelhorn and trumpet, I have Freddie Hendricks. Freddie recorded on my previous CD, Colors. And I love having him back because his creative and expressive solos motivate me to play at a higher level. Also on trumpet, I have Tom Brown. I remember meeting Tom when I was in my 20s at a jam session in New York before he became famous and especially known for his big hit, Funkin' for Jamaica. We've been friends ever since and I'm happy to have him in the horn section. On piano, I have Carlton Holmes. I first started playing with Carlton about six years ago in a group I formed with my brother bassist Dave Jackson called the Jackson Brothers Quartet. And as many of you know, Dave is no longer with us and I miss him a lot. Carlton, though, has led many groups as a leader and has also worked with such greats as Lionel Hampton, Freddie Hubbard, Diane Reeves, and even Stevie Wonder. His improvising is impeccable and he also knows just how to accompany the soloist. I am very fortunate to have Essie, Essie on this recording because he is one of the most sought out bass players on the planet. I met him many years ago when he was playing with Bobby Watson's group Horizon and has performed regularly with my group at Jackson Room and we are great friends. He lays down a great foundation and his solos are fleeting and very lyrical. In fact, I remember one audience member recently yelling out enthusiastically during one of his solos at the Jackson Room saying, Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's Essiet Essiet. On drums, we have Lionel Cordu. He is very unique in one sense because he is a righty that plays drums left-handed. He is extremely versatile because he covers all the bases and styles, which is quite evident by some of the musicians he has worked with, from Mike Stern, Cassandra Wilson, Regina Carter, and Spyro Gyro. He has incredible feel and instincts because he knows how to complement all the solos and picks up on all the cues and details with this sort of split-second timing while still maintaining this incredible swing and groove. It's almost like he has a sixth sense. He is also a good friend of mine who lives just minutes away from me. My previous three CDs were studio recordings, but this is my first live one. And the beauty of recording live as opposed to in the studio is that you're not constrained by the headphones and wires in the recording room. Everybody can just get loose and play naturally. Because there's an energy that exists when performing in front of a live audience that you won't get in the studio. However, in order to do this, I had to find the right engineer with the right equipment. So I was very fortunate to have Mike Costanzo, who's a real pro in the industry as my recording engineer who mic'd every instrument in all areas of the club with painstaking precision. He also recorded, mixed, and mastered the album. The sound quality of this recording is truly amazing. We have 11 tracks, 5 originals written by myself and 4 arrangements, and 2 tunes written by a good friend of mine who is a great trumpet player and composer, and his name is Rashid Howard. So I am very happy to have these guys, who are my friends and world-class musicians, to play my music and to play it well. And maybe most importantly, after having traveled the world myself as a musician, I feel very fortunate that I was able to record this album live in the community that I love. So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>